Hi everyone, today in front of me I have this Oppo Find X5 Pro smartphone and in this video I would like to show you the best display settings that you can change on this device. So first of all, open up the settings app, here you go for the display and brightness section and here we are. So to start off we have a very default feature that allows us to switch between light mode and dark mode. While in a dark mode, uh, the phone consumes way less battery and uh, once you have the insufficient ambient lighting, it's really better to switch to the dark mode in order to prevent your eyes from uh, getting tired and probably even damaged. Next we have uh, the auto switch for the dark mode that allows the system to switch automatically between these two modes according to the set schedule that you'll choose yourself. Next we have the uh, next we have the brightness bar. Here we can either regulate it manually or set it so it will be regulated automatically according with the ambient uh, lightning you have around you. Then we have the screen color mode which allows us to alter, change and adjust the color scheme of our interface on this device. On top of the uh, of the page uh, of the setting we have some pictures as for the preview in order to see uh, what kind of color scheme we have set up. Uh, there are some uh, presets, uh, default presets like Vivid, Natural or Pro Mode where you can uh, regulate uh, so some more settings yourself. So I'll just go with Vivid. Oh, and there is also this opportunity to regulate the color warmness as well. So we can either set it to be very cool or notoriously warm. I'll just leave it at the default value. Next we have the nature tone display, uh, which uh, once enabled automatically adapts the warmness of your display to the ambient light you have, ambient lightning. And there is also the eye comfort mode that just makes everything look uh, warmer. And that's the very cool uh, feature once you feel uh, an immense eye fatigue or your eyes are overtired. It just what this mode does, it, uh, it filters out the blue lights, the excessive amount of blue light. And there is also uh, an opportunity to set the color scheme of your device to black and white once you want it for some reason. Next we have the section that is responsible for some uh, image and video enhancements. It is called uh, Zero One Ultra Vision Engine. We can either enable the image sharpener video color enhancer or turn on or turn respectively off the bright HDR video mode. Then we have a very default auto display rotation uh, switch that once enabled makes sure that the display uh, automatically changes the uh, layout mode from horizontal and to portrait and vice versa once you physically rotate the phone in, uh, to one of the mentioned modes. Then there is the auto screen off uh, setting that determines uh, for how much time should we not touch the phone in prior of it automatically turning its screen off. The values that are presented in here, uh, they vary from 15 seconds to 30 minutes. Next we have the adaptive slip feature that once enabled uh, Make sure that if the camera is hidden, or if the camera is covered, your screen turns off automatically. Next we have the setting for screen resolution. Uh, there are three values to choose from. We can either go for the full HD+, uh, which gives us 2412x1080 uh, of the as for the resolution, or QHD+, that give us 3216x1440 uh, X, uh, as for the resolution. Or we can also set it to auto-select and the phone will uh, switch between those resolutions uh, according to the state and amount of the battery that you have left. Next we have the screen refresh rate setting uh, that we can uh, alter and adjust there are three uh, there are two modes that we can choose from uh, if you go for the 120 hertz uh, you'll get smoother and better animations if you'll go for the 60 hertz and standard modes you'll get better better uh, battery life 
And lastly, we have the screen display, which allows us to regulate uh, how the part of the display at the part of the screen that contains the camera will look like at different and various apps. As you can see, you can uh, select the layout for each app individually. And there is also such setting for the bottom part of your display. So that was it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave your like, comment and subscribe. Bye bye.